Today I'm gonna draw a full page illustration for my comic that I've been wanting to create for a while. The thing is that I have just started writing the story. So I might be putting some steps ahead of me, but I wanted to get some ideas out of my mind and I think it'll be nice to have at least one illustration of the story happening. So, I'm gonna be drawing Charlotte and her cat Nilo, the main characters of the story. The idea for this illustration is to be this full page drawing where they are exploring a really dark cave looking for treasures and suddenly they come face to face with a skeleton and they get scared. I'm thinking about making the pages before this one like very simple with the characters really immersed in the darkness of the place and then when we turn the page we have this explosion of colors revealing them and the enemy. I I think it would look really cool. <laughs> Talking a little about the process, I started building my composition using some photos I took as reference, which are terrific and no one's ever going to see them. <laughs> then after we had a very basic structure for the scene, I started drawing more features and details. For the skeleton and the lamp on her hand, I used some 3D reference to make my life a little easier and I wanted the background to be really dark, so I just threw some rocks on the cave walls and simplified the rest. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the magic and I'm gonna clean all of this and show you the finished line art. Ta-da! Here it is! Sketch done, line art done, and now it's time to paint it. When I started painting this illustration, I wanted it to have a little bit of that vintage animation vibe and colors, so I kept that in mind for when I finish everything so I can throw some effects above it. I first started defining my background a little more to help set the mood to the place where the characters were in. Then I put some flat colors and a bit of glow on the lamp and I also added some juicy black shadows to fit the aesthetic I wanted. Now let's draw the shadows and render everything. And while I do this, I'd like to share some plans and thoughts about this comic. So, since this is my first experience doing something like this, I'm gonna limit myself to write like only a pilot or a quick introduction chapter first before committing to the whole thing already because I want to have something finished and like get some feedback from people, but that's not the only reason for why I wanna limit myself. The other main reason is because there's gonna be a really big event in December in my country called CCXP which has an artist alley and you can show your art and it's also very much focused in comics and I really wanna go and have something to show there if I get approved in the selection and to do that I would have to make this in just a couple of months so I can't have a very long story right now <laughs> I know I could just post it online in a webcomic format and I'll probably do that too so other people can get to know the story but the thing is that I've been thinking about internet, medias and creation lately and I don't want to have all my work just online. I also want to have physical copies of what I do so people can take it to their homes and put it in a safe place where it's not going to just suddenly disappear one day like it can happen with social medias and the internet. And also because I think forcing myself to understand how to turn these illustrations into a book will help a lot with getting some experience with printing and basically everything that involves creating something like that. Anyways, I really hope I get approved in the selection process for this event. The results will be released in June and I'll let you guys know if everything goes well. So, now I'm finishing the last details for this illustration, just adding some effects. I hope you like it and let me show you the final result. I had a lot of fun drawing this. It was really nice to practice some storytelling with the composition. I can't wait to finally use this and put it in a book. It'll take a while, but eventually we'll get there. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm preparing some really cool things for the next video too, and I hope to see you there. Bye!